guys, I'm Liz from the Quick Journey blog and today I'm going to take you antiquing with me. But before we do, I would love it if you would subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment below letting me know what you want to see here on my channel. I share about simple homemaking inspiration, recipes, easy and attainable decor, and I would love to know what it is you want to see here on the Quick Journey YouTube channel. Antiquing is a hobby that I've acquired in the last five to eight years, um, depending upon when you what you consider antiquing. It started out with me trying to find super affordable home decor from thrift stores, which you can often find some antiques there too, especially when you're talking about dishes and candlesticks and things of that nature, and even some furniture and some wall hangings of some sort. So I started that about 10 years ago whenever I was trying to decorate our home on a budget. We had lots of young kids and our budget was certainly limited and so I tried to make our house a home in a really, really affordable, simple way. It's actually one of the reasons why I got into minimalism. I didn't know it was minimalism, but I found later that me not having a bunch of stuff was called minimalism and it was really because I had to, it was out of necessity. We didn't have a lot of money for me to be able to go buy everything I wanted so I had to be somewhat thrifty. And that has gradually grown into me uh, finding and loving antique stores. I love antique stores and most of the reason is because I don't love sifting through the junk to find the treasure. I know a lot of people love the hunt I am not one who loves the hunt, so let me know if you're someone who loves sifting through all the junk to find the hidden pearl beneath, or if you're like me and you really just want it to be curated, maybe there's a thing or two that isn't really worth anything, but the, the bulk of it is something um, of good quality, that's really what I prefer. So let me know in the comments if you are like me or if you prefer the hunt. And as with most things, when you are looking at a curated collection of something, the price is going to be higher than if you are having to sift through the good and the bad. So you definitely have to pay a little more at an antique store. Some antique stores know what they have and you have to pay quite a bit more. But I really prefer knowing that when I go someplace, I'm going to have a lot of quality goods. You know, good furniture, um, good paintings things of that nature. It's just more fun for me and I enjoy myself. And since I'm somewhat of a minimalist, I don't like bringing a whole bunch of stuff into my home anyway. So I'm pretty careful about what it is that I buy. I need to have a plan for it and a spot for it before I bring it in or else it ends up just sitting down in my basement in a big pile. I know that about myself. If I don't have a plan before I buy it, I don't find a plan for it. I just I need to start with the plan and then buy what I need to execute that plan. So today I'm going to take you on a fun antiquing trip with me. There was an antique show in our local town. It was in a big arena. Um, so hang with me through these videos. The lighting isn't amazing. It's all fluorescent lighting and it's a pretty wide open space. There is a lot of little um, baubles and pottery and dishes and things like that. There wasn't very much furniture, but it still was a lot of fun to see what people had and see the prices that people put on things. So I'm gonna show you a few of those things and then I'm gonna take you to a really, really adorable house that we went to that's full of antiques. The lady who owns it used to have a booth in the local antique store and when all the sickness and stuff hit and things shut down, she ended up uh, turning a house out in the country into her, her antique store. And it is so cute. It was full, like packed. You could barely turn around. We had our kids in there and I was like, don't touch anything. But it was so much fun and so cute. Um, so I'm excited to show you that too. Enough talk, let's get started. The first place we went was the antique show.
finished up at the antique show, we all loaded up in the car, we went and grabbed some lunch, and then we headed out to the little country house full of antiques. Okay, I did not find anything at the antique show, but I did pick up a few things at the little antique house and I wanna show you what I got and kind of explain to you my plans for it. Like I said, I am very picky about what I bring into my house. I have to love it and have a plan for it. So I didn't get too many things, but the few things I got, I'm really excited about. What I got is this old wicker basket with handles. Um, it's not like super sturdy. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but I think if I use it for decor, my friend Andrea from the Pine and Prospect home here on YouTube, she has one of these that she fills with flowers and she hangs on her door. She has more um, of a co English cottage look to her home and she keeps her home very, very neutral. And I really love that. So I thought that maybe I could mimic what she's done. because She does such a beautiful job adding baskets and um, wicker trays and things like that to her decor and really interesting and beautiful and simple ways. So I think I might use this for that. I have to see if it'll fit because it is pretty big. See how wide that is? I'm afraid it might stick out from the wall or the door too much. So I will let you know what I end up doing with this. Next thing I got, which isn't too exciting, but it's this small frog. I have really small hands so you can kind of see how big it is. Um, if you do not have frogs, I love these things. You sit them down in the bottom of a vase or a mason jar or whatever you're gonna be putting your um, fresh flowers into. And you stick the stems of your fresh flowers into these holes. And what it does is it keeps your flowers from just flopping to the side of the vase. It helps them to stay, some of them to stay more structured and, and straight up. And I really love it. It's a simple way to make your arrangements look more beautiful. Uh, you can use it for fake flowers as well if you'd like to. But I picked this one up, I think it was like $2. The last thing that I got and brought home is this pencil sketch of an old man flipping through a book. I thought it was so charming. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Can you see that? Isn't that so charming? I just really love it. I'll try and get a better picture of it so you guys can see it. The light's kind of blocking it. I am planning on taking it out of the, mirror, out of, out of the frame rather. The frame is not very nice. Um, but I really love the sketch and I have been seeing some really cool just hangings of sketches up on walls that aren't even framed. I'll try and show you a picture of what I'm thinking about. It's in one of the design books that I love. Um, and they do it a lot over in England. They just hang up the sketch on the wall, not framed. 
And I really, really love it so much, and I kind of like the simplicity of not even having a frame. So I might try that first, and if I don't love it, then I can always purchase a frame or find a frame at an antique store or a thrift store that will fit this um, sketch. All of these things I found at the little antique house. Uh, we fully intend on going back because there were so many things that I almost brought home, but I didn't because I wasn't quite sure where I was going to put them and what I was going to do with them. But it was so much fun and we had a blast, the kids had a blast, and I did find a few treasures. Well that's it for me here on The Quick Journey today. I hope you really enjoyed this simple little antique trip with me. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, definitely leave me a comment. Let me know below if you guys love antiquing or if you prefer thrifting and what you'd like to see here in the future on The Quick Journey YouTube channel. Thanks so much guys, we'll see you later.